Dimitri, tell the listeners about the DMT trip you had last week. Drifting deeply into the visual app and flow of the DMT, I just walked through the thin fabric of the visual fractal fantasy. It was like a gauze layer of the dream just separated and boom. It was like walking from a dark night into a brightly lit casino in Las Vegas. I felt like I had walked behind the scenes into a series of rooms. Everything was prime color cranked up to its fullest potential. The images were clear, crisp and vivid. Many times more vivid than the early pre-room images. There were two people, a man and a woman or a girl and a boy. They appeared to me like simple balloon computer generated images. As soon as I stepped in the room, they glided up to me and spoke directly to me. They kept saying welcome back in words like, the big winner, he has returned. Welcome to the end and the beginning. You are the one. As I looked around the room, I felt the sense of some huge celebration upon my entry to this place. Bells were ringing. Lights flashing fear began to rise in me as I felt the deep change in my world. The spirits began to lead me around the room, showing me how all my life they had been preparing me for this return. I was shown dozens of experiences simultaneously in my life that had led up to and been close to this moment. I was shown in a flood and an onslaught of images, thoughts, situations, raw feelings that everything had been building to this moment, that this moment had been planned. They told me it was a gift, that I had been selected to be the one. I felt feelings of huge relief, excitement and fear in the sprites. At this moment in the experience, I became afraid for my life. I felt that this gift would cost me my life. I did not want to be the one. The spirits felt this fear in me and began to hold my hands and arms rushing me deeper into their world. I felt their fear and I began to believe that I had stepped out of the dream, out of the drug, out of my body and mind and into this super world. I began to believe in the transformation. As I walked deeper I could see standing in the middle of the room, in the center of this place, an object similar to an hourglass. It was slowly turning over. I became aware that this vessel, as it tipped over, transferring its contents from the small red end to the larger blue end was transforming me. I felt my humanity slip out as I was filled with this new powerful light. A light of greater perception, of clarity. It felt like returning home. It felt familiar. It felt like I was waking up from a hollow, pale dream of reality. I felt godlike and omnipotent. I realized that this gift was not only a gift but equally a death sentence for my physical body. I felt like I had been chosen to receive this not out of benevolence, but out of a need to release this power and perception there had to be the one. To relieve the others, there had to be the one who perceived completely. I felt like Christ at the moment of realization of Godhood and the inevitable moment of his crucifixion. I also felt like all this knowledge and perception was far too large to be processed by my physical mind and that death was the obvious transition. As this moment of realization hit me I felt the sprite smile and step back. They told me I was the one and this was real and that it would never end. They said do you not believe, then see. At this moment I sat up and opened my eyes. This moment true panic set in. I was deeply hallucinating. The real world was being covered, transformed into a psychedelic kaleidoscope of energy. Every surface had something like movie film. One image after another lined up like film shown through an overhead projector. These were the prime images of our symbolic nature, slowly rolling over every surface. Like the sprites of the objects, I felt I was seeing time in a singularity. I felt like I was seeing the symbolic patterns like a second perception of true meaning. In the real room there were two people sitting next to me. When I looked at them I felt reassured momentarily. Then they exploded into dozens of two-dimensional layers of light, looking like computer-generated futurist paintings. Wafer-thin halos created the shapes of my friends. Dave looked up at me and said welcome back causing me to panic. Because when he said welcome back I did not think it was back to reality, but back into the fold of this super world I was in. Back as their chosen one or at least one amongst them. I perceived Dave and Poon as personal guides or guardians or gatekeepers there to welcome me into this new exalted state. That moment striped me of my world, my truths leading me to believe that my hallucinations were truth. I once again had the crashing feeling of winning, of being chosen, and being forced to receive this unwanted sentence of total vision. I had this crash as I could see once again the cause and effect of my being there and the price I would have to pay. I was the being king and the price of my gift would be perceptual transcendence, but physical death. At this time I felt a collapsing feeling as I gave into the experience accepting my fate. I remember thinking that the hourglass had turned a little farther and I was pouring out of this life into my new one. I said out loud I am dying. 
then I lost the support of my body, myself, my existence and I began to drift. Dave then touched my leg, I remember being drawn back into my body and thinking to hell with this, I am not going to die, not yet and I felt the sprite smiling around me looking at me. I felt the fear, I felt the exhilaration of my visions. I was back in the sprite's room, even though this place was vibrant and psychedelic it was within my ability to comprehend. The sprites began their pitch at me being a winner and the one. I felt they were taking me back down the hallway to open those iconic electric vision and to my death. I then said out loud again I am dying to which Dave responded only three more minutes and you will be all right. Three more minutes. Three more minutes was like a life raft that I sailed out of that world. As soon as I was able to believe that in three more minutes I would be normal again and everything began to fade. I felt in control of my body and my life. Slowly I drifted out of the their world. Back through the gauzy world of colors and patterns. With a little extra coaxing from my friends I was able to wake up and separate myself from that moment. I still vibrate from the experience. I am very grateful to have been with my friends.